he was like you're like a selfish <laughs> make sure she's gone because i did not want to meet anybody's mom just like this is a move should i do that wait i'm kind of scared this is too much right i'm kind of nervous wait <laughs> Oh my god, I look like a freaking idiot. Like, I look so stupid. Like, wow. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh my god, where have you been? Where have you been? Mental health, literally low. But that's that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about what we do when our mental health is low. Welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another video. This video is not me. I just want to do something different. I really don't really like talk to y'all about my like, well, not actively or like I don't talk about current situations, never. Like y'all, I, I, I promise y'all, y'all never gonna ever see me post a man ever, ever, ever. I don't know, maybe if he manipulate me enough. <laughs> so today I am going to be getting ready for a date that either I'm gonna get ghosted. It's not even a date, it's, just, it's a link. You know what, I'm not even gonna get into that right now until I'm really like getting myself together because I honestly might just lay back down and never post this video. Right now, it is probably like two o'clock and I still have about mm, like 10 hours to decide. Okay, I know this person that I'm supposed to be linking. I haven't linked him in a while. When you're seeing this right now, I made the one of the worst possibly the worst decision in my entire life. You know what I'm saying? Men change. What if he's a murderer? I'm kind of scared. Y'all are going to be getting ready with me for a sneaky link when I either know I'm going to be ghosting tonight or that he's going to be ghosting because I'm scared. I'm going to shower and probably look clean because right now I look a mess. I'll be back when I'm like actually getting ready. Yeah. Approximately 10 hours later. Ooh, I look so freaking rough right now. It is currently 7.38. I allegedly have until 9.15. And I literally want to do my lashes because I love doing my lashes. When I put on the strips, it, I feel like I'd be looking so stupid. Especially if I don't have, like, full makeup on. I don't think I want to wear, like, heavy makeup. But I want to wear makeup, if that makes sense. So let's get into it because I I literally only have seven. Well, I said I'll leave my house 9.15. We're not going anywhere besides this house. Again, I've met with this man before, but I'm still nervous because I haven't seen him in a while. I have not seen him in the longest time, which is why it's like a sneaky link. But I'm not a fan of hookup culture, so <laughs> we're going to see how this goes because hookup culture to me is literally vulgar. I'm going to do my hair first because the hair is like one, two, three, so... Um, earlier while I was watching Revenge, before I got in the shower, I curled this wig, which let's thank our sponsors for today. <gasps> Excuse me. So I would like to thank our sponsors for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Julia Hair. I have a U-part wig unit that was sent to me. This is 24 inches. I have wore U-part hair in the past or U-part wigs in the past. And I really like them because one thing about me, I like being able to take my hair out at nighttime. Because when you literally have to wear your hair all day long it really starts getting hot as hell under the hair but this one is in kinky straight um i just put wand curls in it i'm trying to find my silk comb so uh, what i'm gonna do is <sighs> not to hear me far like bitch i'm gonna part my hair down i usually part it like right here because i like having like a good amount of my hair out do i want to do a side part do i want to do a side part So I'm gonna leave like this much hair out and then I'm gonna also leave out some edges. I don't know why I'm nervous to meet this man. I mean, I do understand the last time we spoke, <laughs> it did not end well. It was very much given, we will never talk again. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not in the mood to be humble. Let's just talk about it. Like validation, <laughs> male validation. I, my mental health is like extremely low. Honestly, it's nothing to it. You either have it or you don't. You know what I mean? And I happen to have it, praise the Lord. Oh, bye, Shaka. Oh, and I noticed when my mental health is low, like all my morals go out the window, bitch. Like I don't care. All my morals go out the window, and that's my perfect time to be like blaming on the morals. I'm a little bit stoned right now, just, just a tad bit. The last time we spoke to, he had a girlfriend. Mmm, that's cute. But like at the end of the day, like it's fine because that was mine first. He was mine first. You know what? No, no, no. Not not that mindset. That mindset is just so whack. Like he was mine first, girl. He for everybody. If he for everybody, am I included in everybody? That sounds so bad. Like, girl, it sounds like I'm risking my life to see a man. Also, I'm a little concerned about this wig blending with my hair 
because my hair since the last time I did a U-part wig is blonde now. So if anything, I'm gonna just have like blonde strips in the front and hopefully he doesn't clock me, but like what does a man know? Don't underestimate him. As soon as I got in the car, he did I said, I like your hair. It's a new wig and I literally was just like, okay. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm wearing a wig to a link. Sometimes it's really just risky and you can't do anything about it but just deal with the risk. So I'm gonna open up the wig and I'm gonna clip my hair. And y'all, the reason why I just know he's gonna flake or like I'm gonna flake is because like I always do. I like the fact that he thinks I waste his time. This is the toxicity part aspect of our relationship. I like to give him the idea that like I don't run a link him. Like he's like oh, I doubt that you're gonna even come. And I was like, yeah, probably not. Whole time, I, bitch, I've been contemplating this shit since, <laughs> like, when we talked about it, which was, like, a couple days ago. Stand up! He asked me to RSVP. He was like, are you still coming? And I was like, I'll think about it. <sighs> maybe I really will go and I will not psych myself out. Like, maybe I'm only telling myself, oh, it's not a good idea because that's something I would tell myself if I was 100% sober. But when you're not 100% sober, it's okay. It's okay to go. With this wig, it's really soft. Like, I, this is honestly, this was it straight, not straight out the package, but this is what it looked like. This is how it feels. This is the shine it comes with before I did anything to it. Honestly, this hair is like a lot like i'm sensing that this is a lot but it's okay you know what it's okay because look mm, boom <sighs> i'm nervous let's talk about the time us talking in the past so i guess like we uh low-key dated in the past no not really because that wasn't my ex according to my book bitch maybe if you ask him he'll say yes he's literally the most confusing person ever because like literally if someone asks us like oh like when we go into public are you dating i'll be like no and he'll be like yes but then bitch i'll be like can a bitch get some relationship benefits here he'll be like no and then I'm like, yeah. So, like, girl, you're doing the wrong aspect. When people ask you if y'all date, hell yeah, say yeah. I do not see myself becoming 100% obsessed with this man. I'm finna end this video because, girl, y'all must be like, girl, you're a clown. And I'm gonna be like, I am. Like, I agree 100%. Like, I'm actually doing hair right now. <sighs> okay, going to get my curling iron. I, like, prepared myself to go on, like, a whole adventure with this man. It was literally, like, freaking 12 a.m. And he calls me. He's like get up get up like i want to come i want to take you to drive for a drive i'm like go for a drive it is late as hell a bitch had school in the morning he basically had a bitch standing sitting up to like 1 a.m yikes like 1 a.m and and then he never took me anywhere did i cry yeah. I did cry, but that was like a year and a half ago. So now I'm in the mental space now where like, what are you crying for? If anything, you hold the power. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying here? Like, do you get what I'm saying? You have to prepare yourself for it to go wrong. I am not in the mental capacity to be making any rational decisions at the moment. And I heard that Mercury was... <laughs> retrograde so let's just go ahead and blame all of that i know so many people who are going to be like girl you're just being a booty call i am not being a booty call i hold all the power in my hands or i can easily be like i want to go home and he can easily be like Ugh, i don't really want you to go and i can easily be like oh i'm sorry but like i need to go and then i can just leave it's not that hard like i mean unless he tries to be like no you can't leave and then bitch that's when it's time to call the police if he sees this bitch, I probably won't talk to him after this situation because then it'll just get weird. What do I gain from being friends with you? Nothing. This wand curler is from Amazon and yeah, I'm trying to act brave right now, y'all. Like I'm trying to be put on this whole facade that I, I know you bitches could see right through a bitch like me. Y'all probably like, bitch, you're scared. Tell the truth, you're scared. And I'm sweating. Like, oh my god, like, I'm actually sweating. Like, my mom has the heat on, like, a thousand right now. I am actively sweating bullets at that. So, bitch, I'm about to cut this fan on. If y'all hear it, oh, well, because I just got up the shower. And I'll be damned if if he be like, you, she, she, she smells sweaty. And the curls are kind of dropping, but I like when the curls drop because then it doesn't look as like fake it looks more like oh this is your hair what should i wear i don't even have cute bras like i don't even have cute sets anymore i feel like a grandma just imagine when i'm 40 like i have to do this now and i'm like dying at 18 but like imagine dating when you're 40 like bitch if i don't have a husband by then at this point i was not meant to marry if i don't have a husband by the i don't even want a husband like it like just imagine coming home to a man every night <sighs> i mean you're getting ready for a man at night right now what is the what is the difference what is the difference it is no difference <laughs> right and I'm definitely not doing my lashes right now. <sighs> I want them to look good and I don't want them to be get ruined tonight. <laughs> not like that though. <laughs> don't think of it like that.
and I also have to get my nails done and like a brave of me to show up like well freaking half my nail fucking off and let's tell a quick story talking about him so that you bitches could be like what what is the gaga on hit this man a quick story about how this man made me meet his mother at his grown ass age and I literally was appalled okay so let's get into it so basically I was just chilling in my house one day it was literally like a summer day me and him were like messing with each other and stuff I made established that I wasn't really feeling the whole date aspect of it I'm back so you know in the beginning I was saying how I would ask him like for those girlfriend qualities and then he would be like no. He would be like no and then sometimes be like yes which is why I was saying how he was literally like a sour patch because one day he want to date the next day is just like okay we can casually mess around and blah 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 blah. Anyway I'm not here to tell y'all my business but I'm here to tell y'all my business. I just want to say I realized that he was basically just playing around so then I just started playing around and then he tried to get serious and it was too late because now I'm ready to play the game mom i'm sorry so like it was definitely giving i'm gonna come over for one reason one reason only but like listen so when i had called him and i was just like hey and he was like what are you doing and i was like nothing and then he was like come over and i was like okay um but then i heard like a little voice in the back and they were like who's coming over but it was like such a mature as vo bass voice so i was like okay and it kind of sounded like i had an accent but i can clearly tell that it's a woman so i was like <laughs> you have roommates and he was like nah I don't and I was like oh so who's that and I kind of got a little jealous even though I should not be jelly because uh, long story long story <laughs> so I was like oh who's that and he basically was like oh it's my mom and I just thought he was lying I was like oh okay make sure she's gone by the time I get there I really used to be a menace y'all I don't think y'all understand I was literally just like oh okay just make sure she's gone by the time I get there and he was like oh why like you don't want to be my mom and I'm like no but I don't want to meet your mother and what's crazy is like I'm saying like oh he led me on but like Nike, bitch I kind of let him on which is how we stopped talking in the first place I don't really want to meet your mother I'm sorry and he was basically like oh, okay she'll be gone by the time you get here so don't even worry like he was like I was just kidding like you don't have to meet her like she'll be gone by the time you get here so I'm like okay so I pull up to his house I literally was gonna go to Domino's too so like I was not mentally prepared I like went there in like freaking biker shorts and a goddamn graphic t-shirt which is fine so this is what my hair looked like from Julia's place I fuck with it I think it's cute but I look so good right now <laughs> am i like overly like smacked where i feel like i look way prettier than i usually do okay let's keep let's continue getting ready so i'm gonna tell you all the story time about how like we stopped talking how he made me meet his mother when nobody literally wanted to meet his mother so basically this man was like oh yeah she'll be gone by the time i get there so i'm over here under the impression that his mom is going to be out out by five like you know what i'm saying like for her <laughs> i know he didn't live with his mother so i was just like okay like maybe she just come to visit he definitely he was he literally said she's just here to visit like she's gonna be gone by the time you get there and i'm like okay well i'll get be there in like 15 minutes like make sure she's gone because i did not want to meet anybody's mom like once you meet somebody's mother i feel like there's a whole different type of either this man is definitely not wifeable for him to just let you meet his mom with no giving graces like he's just one two three oh yeah you come meet my mom that's perfectly fine but like also or he's gonna try to like make me be with him type thing because he was already giving that if i met his mom and it was no so when I get there, I call him and he sends me a voicemail and I'm like, answer the phone because, you know, like, why are you sending me the voicemail? I literally just told you that I'm supposed to be coming to your house. Like, what are you doing? Also, I want to say thank you, Julia, here for sponsoring today's video. This is what the hair looks like, the final oh. product. I don't know what the back looks like, so just ignore that aspect. If you would like to check out Julia's hair down below, make sure you check out the description box. It will have all the information linked down below. This wig is very nice. This wig is very flowy. It is, does not tangle. It was a kinky straight wig, so it blends with my hair, like, really well um especially for like just the minimal leave out that i already did like i barely left out leave out as you can see so yeah now let's get back into the story time again thank you julia here for sponsoring today's video now yeah he lives in, like this apartment complex type of thing so when i get there i'm like you live in an apartment complex i need you to let me in like what the freak what what uh, what part are you at because he just gave me the complex but it was labeled by like a b c d so i'm like <laughs> which one are you at and he was not answering so I was kind of getting a little irritated and I was like okay I'm I'm literally about to fucking dip because you just wasted my time so you already know a bitch like me I had an attitude I was ready to turn up I was like you're kind of giving me upset like low-key do not waste my time like why are you not answering the phone now like if you don't want to hang out just say that and he was like no I want to hang out I want to hang out I'm thinking I'm gonna go for like natural makeup like I'm gonna wear mascara and he was just like chill the fuck out and I'm like I don't want to chill out like literally you're acting as if you don't have me outside 
like this complex because i was sitting out there for like a good 15 minutes like hella aggravated like i'm not gonna lie i was very aggravated because like who wouldn't be aggravated in this situation like you literally told me to come and then now like i'm sitting here and you're like not opening the door so then he's like i'm in apartment uh, let's just say you y'all don't know the apartment so he's like i'm in apartment g i don't remember what apartment he was in i, I need to ask him that let me actually text him and ask him stand up okay so um he was like i'm in apartment g like calm the fuck down like it's not that serious and i'm like okay so what apartment are you at like i'm not understanding what apartment are you at and he's like i'm in an apartment g like just come and i'm like okay so i pull up in my car it was literally midday you had ample time to let me know hey to right now is not a good time you know what i'm saying using this ordinary foundation that i had for so long and it literally always has makeup on it and it dirties my hands and it's so annoying i'm sorry i literally could not talk and do makeup at the same time like i don't know if it's just me but i can't like it's so freaking hard um anyway so he's like come to the apartment you so i'm like okay so at this point it's your routine, you know, you know, like we're only here for one purpose. It's really not that serious. When I get there, <laughs> he like looks at me like this certain type of way. And I'm like kind of looking back at him like, why are you looking at me like that? Like when he opens the door. Hello, so it's me again. Anyways, I don't know why I had the urge to just lie. But first of all, that's not what happened. He came outside and then he came and got me. And then when we were walking to his apartment, he's like walking hella slow, like just acting stupid. I'm like, why are you acting like that? And then when he opens the door, he opens it slow as shit. And I see feet when I'm in the kitchen. And at this whole time, the reason I was irritated is because I thought that he was lying about it being a mom and that it was actually like a girlfriend that he couldn't get rid of or something. So now I'm over here preparing myself to have to get down and dirty. Cause I'm like, what if she try to fight me because I'm messing with her man. So when I get in the kitchen, I see her feet and i know it's women feet and i'm just like oh my god i'm gonna have to beat his ass because he too scared to tell his new bitch oh you know i got a new bitch you know what i'm saying i'm gonna have to go up in there i'm gonna have to really do my do so i'm over here scared as fuck because i should have left but i wanted to see if he really was fucking with somebody else because i was really gonna be up in there turning up okay but it was his mama and let me continue the story all right and like when i walk in at first i really didn't see the lady because she's so freaking little like she's literally this little like ethnic grandmother just chilling on the couch like i, I literally just was looking at him like bitch like i know you the fuck you did not he he genuinely did and he felt like it was okay and it was definitely an ambush i was still in high school at the time not that it was like a, a like insane age difference like it really wasn't but i was in high school and i feel like your mother would not be like oh yeah 100 percent. let's advocate for my college student's son well we would hope so but you know how these moms gets about their son so maybe she honestly would have i just was not in the mood to like explain to her son like oh i like your son because he has good oh my god if my mom is watching this please stop like it's if you know me <laughs> and you're not my friend or my age category and you know me like personally in real life click the freak out when i walk in she was like oh my god so pretty mind you look a freaking mess like i literally was gonna go get dominoes if he would have flopped on the link his mom was like oh how do you know my son let's name her son ring she's like how do you know my son ring and i'm like oh i met him through college I'm like, oh, I met him through school. Like, I said basically the college. And she was like, oh, okay. And she was like, you're so pretty. And she's like, you know, he tried to get me to leave. But I wanted to meet you because I just knew he was bringing a pretty girl. And he never brings girls home. I'm like, girl, because he doesn't fucking live here. Why would he bring a girl to your house if he has his own? And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, it was nice meeting you. And she's like, it was nice meeting you as well. She's, I literally was telling her I was going to school for law. Like, I was literally like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to school for law um she was just she was just like oh my god such a smart girl like you look like you're a smart girl and i'm just looking at him like yeah thank you like thank you like looking at him like what the fuck did you just do like if you didn't it's like mind you because remember how i said like when i was in the parking lot he was not answering the phone i was kind of getting a little irritated because it was just like why are you not answering the phone but if you weren't answering the phone because your mom was not trying to leave you could have told me come back another time and i would literally would have been more happier than you being like oh, fine come up but i think he only told me like come up because i was threatening to like not go at all and he was like oh no bitch you're not coming over <laughs> long story short she leaves and i'm looking at him and i'm like 
you did not just do that and at first i was like really mad like i literally was like i told you like this shit is that fucking weird like do you understand like the position that you put me in whole time it's not that deep like bitch it was never that serious but i was like actually really mad because like at the end of the day it's like he told me already how he didn't really tell his friends about me or anything and i was i really didn't care it wasn't like i wasn't telling my friends about him i was telling my friends about him because they kind of know everything about me but um i was just like it's fine if you're not Ugh, my battery is dying okay all my battery is dying so hopefully this lasts so let me hurry up so yeah basically i was just like why the fuck would you do that like that's actually really uncomfortable and like i really don't kind of want to be here anymore and he was just like oh it's okay like she doesn't she's not like that she doesn't think that deep into it i'm like girl i don't care i was like i don't really care if she thinks that deep into it or not i asked you nicely could not put me in a situation where i had to meet your mom and you still did it like it's it's freaking annoying and he was just like i'm sorry and then he apologized and then that was that but then let's talk about the fact that like oh bitch he basically <laughs> he basically like cut me off because he started like getting really attached this is why i'm telling myself like i'm literally stupid because i'm about to mentally go into this <laughs> like shit is sweet right now i'm emotionally unavailable for a man this is really a new ricky like i don't think i guys understand like i really be loving hard as hell but um, Honestly, that shit gets me nowhere, so I'm done doing that. I don't understand, though. I could really get granny and fuck with your mans, though. Have you sitting in the crib like, fuck this He basically seen that I was talking to another guy. I wasn't hiding it. The girls will hate on my mascara choice over lashes, but I just, just know that it's okay because I'm making the right decision for myself. I'm only 18. Like, you only live once. And, like, I don't think he would kill me because then, like, bitch... We talk about true crime. Understand how we don't benefit from you murdering me is what I would say to him. Anyway, so he had seen that I was talking to like these other guys, right? It wasn't really other guys. It was, it was literally one. They literally will cheat on you with like a thousand bitches. But like, as soon as you get one, he's done. He can't handle it. He's he's shaking. He can't breathe. It was very much dramatic. He's so dramatic. I'm trying to put on like this blush but with this big bright ass red so i'm like brushing it out of my hand and then mm, is it too clownish tell me now <laughs> bitch i hope it's not giving her kendall i'm gonna be like bitch it's 2022 he's gonna be like girl what the fuck is you over here for well what the fuck am i going over there for i mean i would get it if he said that to me i would be like you're right actually i'm gonna bounce but nonetheless like i was saying so he had basically found that i was talking to other guys and it wasn't really a secret but he had like tried to like it's a very select few pe people who i allowed to like like put me in my place not put me in my place but like be like to make it clear like oh you don't fuck with nobody else besides me right so basically um he was like oh i heard you fuck with Brrr. and i was like mm, possibly and he was like well you're not fucking with him no more and i was like mm, honestly i don't think i want to do a lip i think i just want to do casual lip gloss i'm gonna leave it like this do i look stupid do I look pretty? Mm, fishing for compliments. Give me compliments. Yeah, I found out I was talking to other guys. And then I was like, okay. Like, it wasn't really a secret, though. So, I don't know why you're, like, carrying on. And then he was just like, basically, like, no one's ever going to love you like me. And I was like, <laughs> But, like, I'm not nervous now because I know how to handle him. Like, bitch, we're on the same level now. Oh, my God. I actually look kind of pretty. Like, I think I look too pretty for this link. It's, it's no such thing as too pretty. Like, I'm just that bitch. My alter ego comes out when I'm snack. Like, I literally would be, like, like, I was shaking. But, like, oh, am I still shaking? Just, like, just a, like a, just a tad bit. But, like, now I'm, like, Anyway, but he basically was like, no one's ever going to love you like me. And, like, he was like, you're, like, a selfish bitch. Like, you use people for, like, your own personal good, that, like, your own personal things. And I was like, bitch, how were you hurt? Because I made it clear that I didn't want you. Because, like, literally, I've had men do that to me all the time. Like, oh, I'm not looking for a relationship. Okay, then, bitch, get out of my way. But, like, I make it clear because a lot of, no, a lot of them don't even make it clear. A lot of them literally just be like, oh, yeah, let's string you along for the long run. But I had the pleasure of making it clear. And I was like, sir, I'm sorry, but I don't think that we should, like, fuck with each other and he was just like oh bitch this is why nobody's gonna like you and then the way we kind of rekindle things is because he was just like hey and i was like hey i haven't seen you in a while i seen him long story long story but like we ran into each other on a nap and then he was just like I haven't seen you in a while and i'm like he's like you're back from school and i'm like i am back from school <sighs> Ooh, child. i'm gonna go put on my clothes I'm kind of scared. I'm going to put on black leggings and a black crop top. You can't go wrong with black leggings or a black crop top. So I'll be back when my clothes are on. Okay, y'all. So I made the rash decision to wear this top. It's a conversation starter. Right. Let me grab my glasses. The essentials. I don't know why I'm going to like pull up like rich auntie. Like I'm only here for like a 
short amount of time. Like, bitch, I'm not even from here. Like, he hasn't even seen me since I like I started social media. Ooh, bitch. Oh my god, y'all. Should I pull up with the glasses? Like, this is a move. Should I do that? Wait, I'm kind of scared. This is too much, right? I'm kind of nervous. Wait. <laughs> the, the glasses is like a debate. But I also have the Dose. This perfume is literally my favorite. It's not gonna show y'all, but it's the Dose and Gabbana Garden. <sighs> Call me. Butter down and Vaseline. Y'all ready? All right, y'all. Put the glasses on. I don't know what purse I want to bring. I think I'm gonna just bring my regular purse. And I honestly was like to him, should I drive my car or should I drive to him? But I think that I should drive my car just in case, like, it, like I need an escape and I want to go home. I can literally hit him with the, oh yeah, I have to go. So I'm gonna drive my car. But I did take the. I'm fine because they haven't even kicked in yet. I'm gonna Uber. I'm not gonna go with the glasses. I think I'm gonna actually go with my real glasses. <sighs> Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm not gonna give you guys an update, but just like I'm excited. I am definitely a little bit high. But again, I'm done with the get ready with me, y'all. I need to get all my fucking before these edibles really kick in. And like I really do like not go. I'm like really excited right now because like it's a possibility that like I'm going. I did not think I was going when I started this video. And I started this video like a long time ago. But like I was like either way I'm gonna post it. And I haven't I've have been gone for a while. So like I'll do a video explaining mostly everything. Yeah, this is the one yeah this is the one um exiting this video okay so i would like to thank julia here again for sponsoring today's video like i said everything will be linked down below <sighs> stop falling this is their 24 inch U part wig and i'm going to go about my business now i'm gonna take some snacks because i really look like a bad bitch and again i didn't do this for him i did it for me before y'all be like oh my god you're putting on makeup and before you say my self-worth is really low right now you're right you're right but please do not pity me in the comments like bitch just be down for the link because i can probably if this goes nice i can probably do more <laughs> i'm excited i'll see y'all in the next one adios y'all bye did i mention the time that we stopped talking i think i did okay bye <laughs>